Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In the last episode, we continued working on our town here in the... Forgot about the, the log there. Forgot about... We were working on the town here in the, uh, in the orchard. And uh, we have a bit more progress to make. I see they're working on my road. Good job, everyone. Let's pull up the old road. We'll let them finish that up. Uh, what are we making here? Ah, yes, a storage bin. That's good. And they're repairing this druid's hut because we'd like to make some oil here at least. That'll be useful for fuel. Uh, they're growing berries and uh, crystallized dew here. We are working on some jerky, but we don't really have a good supply of meat or insects just yet. Unfortunately. Because we have two, three, three, um... Objectives or orders here that need that need jerky, and of course we don't have enough. How many hammers do we have? Five. That's not good either. Uh, we do need to put some lizards in here and get this going, I think. Uh, making the copper bars so we can sell them, if nothing else. Yeah. Uh, maybe the pie as well. I think of the pie as well. We're making bricks here, too, so I think it's fine to leave them here. Although, maybe we should move them out, because we're making enough other stuff. We'll see. Uh, we do have flour, so we can make the pie easily enough. Let's put another worker in here to make flour. And, um... Offerings might be useful, too. But alcohol would be better. We don't have a brewery. Oh, we do have a brewery. Sorry, we do have a brewery. One star mush soup. Did we have a two star mush soup recipe someplace, or did I misremember that? This one's one star. Okay, you're looting that. Great. And we broke into here, as intended. A cookhouse gets us two star mush soup, pickled goods, pie, and skewers. We need to take care of this first. Uh, let's do some of the resin, I think. Uh, do we want... Yeah, let's do the reduced hostility, please. Because uh, our hostility is at 5 right now, which is not good once we hit... Uh, yeah, once we hit this, because it's going to... Once we hit the storm, because the nauseous spore is going to kick in. So we just went up to 7 also, uh, because of this. Not good at all. This this is a lot more hostile than, I'm, uh, than I have been used to in my practicing of this new update, which is interesting also. Uh, we can also build some more houses. We have beaver houses. Uh, we have lizard houses here. Uh, we need at least one more lizard house. We can probably put that in. Beaver houses we could use. We have tens. So we need a few more beaver houses. I think we could just come this way with them. Not that they all need to be together, but I kind of like it. One, two, three. That should be enough. The humans won't be enough yet, but we do have the uh, generic houses that they can live in until then. We also need a road here. I think I'll just let you folks chop some of these trees out. That's a good idea. Lots of reeds down here. Do we have somebody already working reeds? Yeah, we do. We have, uh, we have this scavenger here working the reeds already. Where'd everybody go? Oh, they're here. Okay, I didn't see them first. We also need more speed. Yeah, this is gonna get bad. It's gonna get really bad when we hit the storm. Work faster. Two more minutes, they're not gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna cancel all of my um, woodworkers, my uh, yeah, woodcutters, for the uh, storm, because that way we'll at least get down into facility six. Well, actually, we didn't need to cancel them all. Just some of them. What can we get? Uh, lumber mill we don't really need at this point. Mm -hmm -hmm. Nothing I really want. Are we even making coats? No. And here comes the storm. Um, What can I buy? Do they have anything I want to buy? If we don't actually don't have plenty of food, so I could buy some food. Did we just do that last time? Uh, we have plenty of amber we can spend on food. Let's just get... 
Like mushrooms. And vegetables. And maybe some eggs. Okay. That many eggs. Okay, aren't we getting free pottery? We are, so now we're getting a boost of pottery. So I guess we could take this. <clears throat> free pottery for opening glades is fine. Something at least. And we do need lots of mush soup, so maybe I should... Maybe I should unlock this and get this, the tier 2 mush soup. We're making the mush soup here at the brewery and they're just fighting over it. That's the problem right now. So let's let's cancel it there. We'll put we'll turn it on here. Um, let's see. We have nothing. Nothing coming in. We'll do we'll do the vegetables and mushrooms, and let's get some of this made. A lizard druid left. Oh, that didn't take long. Yeah, this is really bad. They're gonna all those lizards are gonna leave. Yeah. Why is that stuck? Another st stuck cursor bug. Oops. Not what I wanted to do. Yeah, our, that cursor's stuck again. Let me pause and come back and unstick the cursor by reloading the game. Okay, so I cannot click on the druid's hut without a cursor sticking, no matter what I try. So we're going to just continue without clicking on it too much, and I might just have to pause and re resume uh, in order to m make any changes there, or get out of any making any changes there. Let's uh, let's boost this one. Just get that free jerky. Hopefully that'll help with these things. Let's do uh, some people. Um, I don't really need the beavers. But we have to take beavers if we take anybody. Let's take this because we're going to need a lizard too. And I can't touch the... Yeah. Let's do this. More beavers. Okay. Well, let's uh, then let's swap some beavers into some generic places. Oh. Oh, no. It's sticking. There's definitely something going on. Beavers there. We have beavers there. We have beavers everywhere. I could put another beaver in here, I suppose. There's definitely some weird... Weird bug action going on here. Um, sub in a beaver here. Okay, there is some meat coming in from somewhere. I'd like to buy some, but I don't know from where. Maybe we should do this then. I should, I should throw beavers at this too. Oh, I know where I have beavers that I can redeploy. Right here. Okay, now we need to find some place else we want to go. Um, these are a little bit far. We could do the super danger zone. Uh, we do have human resolve coming in. That's good too. Uh, huh. This one. That one looks good. Oh, look, we finished this too. That's a long way in, though. Maybe I should come through this way. Let's do it. Come this way. And then go that way. Oh, that went smoother than I feared it would. Let's flip these guys over here. A little bit closer to the road, actually. Why don't we go right there? There you go. Chop, chop. Don't touch the druid's hut. No touch. We're back down in Hostility 4 now. Um, it's not great. Order's ready to complete though. Oh, we have a thing to turn in. Oh, good. We got some boost insects. We got 60 jerky. Uh, oh, that's fulfilling the need. So that's the additive one. Okay. This one is going to be tougher because we have to actually save it up. But we're doing it, maybe. Let's take our last building. Uh, I think we're going to want something to benefit the lizards. Which is not going to be this one directly. Probably not. Uh, this one... If we were able to make training gear, this would help them. The global carrying capacity is always nice. Mammal habitat doesn't help them. We'll take the, uh, we'll take the market. 
I suppose. Uh, let me actually borrow one of these for a moment. I want to take out a few of these trees right in here. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's good. That market right there. Where I'd like to put it. Uh, we need a few more... Humans. Am I, am I taking care of the copper now? Yes. A few more human houses, I mean. Okay, I can come back down here and keep working with them on the chopping of the things. Oh, I slowed the game down too when I reloaded. Let's uh, take care of these. Everybody's super happy now. Wow, everybody's pegged now. How did, what did I do to do that? Oh, and we're done. Let me play for just a minute. I want to turn this one in. Just for fun. And, uh, yeah, that went surprisingly fast once everybody went super happy for... For whatever reason. But they don't even know why. I guess I should figure that out. That would be good. Um... Got to be all of these added together. The Gleeman's Tales, the Comfortable, the Rebellious, Spir or Rebellious Spirit. That would have helped. With the with the hostility being that high, that's what it was, I'm sure now. Uh, where, what does that buff look like? Let's pause. Yeah, 17 Rebellious Spirit. Did I really say 17? Is that a bug? Gained 17. Oh, because it's 17 people? No. Plus one to global resolve for every two impatience points. Our impatience points are... I think that's a bug. <laughs> um, that's very much a bug. Uh, I, may, I may send this to the developers, but... Because we shouldn't actually see any more than... One... 1.3 global resolve, or one global resolve here. Um, because she's only at three, so, yeah. I don't know why that is, but, um... But okay. Um, I think we'll just proceed out of this, then. Um, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on. Before the game realizes its mistake and, uh, destroys us all. Okay, so we claimed Zavu, which gave us these eight uh, additional machinery. So let's take a look at the Smoldering City and figure out what we might want to buy. Uh, way down here still, we can't afford that one. Five wine per minute, and the cellar, that's not a bad deal. It gives us a barrel recipe. Um, here. One artifact for every two dangerous glade events solved. That's really good. Because we're solving dangerous glade events now all the time, and the stamping mill gives us two star flower incense and copper bars. That's Vanguard level two is a very good candidate. Uh, this one here, ten coats per minute, would be good too. Uh, the three star fabric recipe at the Weaver. That's the first time we're seeing. We, we would. We, this isn't the first time we've seen it because we've seen it here before. But that would be our our only three star fabric recipe. Uh, this one gives us the trade route and the brick oven. If we, if we spent this one, which is, this is, I think, the one we're going to do, uh, then we could afford a 40. So we could do this one. Uh, the temple gives us another building, plus manuscripts offering an ale at the scribe. Or we could take... Amber's worth 25% more. Ink coats... Actually, the artisan might be a good idea. Let's do the artisan here, because it gives us another coat option, which is sometimes really, really necessary. And then we'll do this one here, the stamping mill, and the cornerstone for the artifacts. That's really good. I like that idea. Okay, let's go here. And let's pick a new spot. I was hoping for another artifact spot. That trader block would be an interesting one. That's out here in the impossible range. Uh, are we out to impossible yet? Yes, we are, actually. We could try... A fateful impossible one. I don't know if there's any other bonuses they're close enough to get. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I think I want to do a Royal Woodlands impossible though, if we're going to do an impossible one. Just for my own sanity. 
Unfortunately, yeah, there aren't anywhere we can... There isn't anywhere we can go that is... Um, that we can get another bonus from. So let's try an impossible level out here. Uh, this one. Or this one. This one here. We'll do this one here. That way we're in the Royal Woodlands. It's kind of a little bit safer biome-wise. Uh, we're going to get one good uh, effect condition and four bad ones. <clears throat> we do get the harvesting boost here, which is good. Uh, the usual things that are common here in the uh, Royal Woodlands and the usual things that are uncommon here in the Royal Woodlands. But we only get two embark points. Um, I think I might... I think I'm going to skip the wood this time. And we'll go with... Um, meat and broccoli. Yeah, let's try it. This one I may not win. So we get... Uh, clothing boosts our speed. That's good. Invigorating wins. Um... Villagers off-roads are speed or decreased by, decreased by 20, 25%, muddy ground. Rotting wood means that uh, they have 100% chance to destroy their yield in the rain, in the storm, rather. Uh, but they do cut through them 50% faster, so it's good to clear, but not good for resource gain. So hopefully we can find some source of making... We aren't going to make a, make a, find, a, make a find a source of coal in this one. Uh, at Hostility 5, we get Eerie Song, so without services, oh boy, uh, unit has 30% chance to perish every 45 seconds. This is going to be a problem if we get that high. And at uh, Hostility 6, we get Eclipse, without services, break time is increased to 200% normal time. Okay, um, that's going to be, this is going to be fun. Fun TM. Uh, danger zones are all really close, maybe we take out this one first? Or this one first? I think we'll do this one first. Uh, nope, this way. We go there. Uh, we have some eggs here and some uh, clay. So let's do the clay. That. Let's see if we get the trapper. No, but we could take the farm. Hmm. Take the kiln, maybe? Yeah, let's take the kiln, because we'll get the coal recipe. That's a really good idea. And we'll take the trapper. Although the, the butcher would be nice. Um, we do have the, the crappy jerky recipe. Uh, let's go with the trapper to get the eggs with the bonus. And let's build one of those here uh, temporarily, and then we'll move it. Let's get started. And let's uh, draw some roads in here, as per usual. go. We'll go ahead and put the woodcutter's first task down, which is to cut those trees right there. And, uh, three beavers later. There you go. Wait, why are you... Oh, we don't have any wood. That's why they're working on the roads first. Oh, that's right, because I didn't take the 30 wood. That's the advantage of the 30 wood. You get to build all these things right away. Should be okay, though. And that means we have a lot of people working on roads, which isn't a bad thing, either. First cornerstone. That's always useful. Steady supply of roots. At least that's a steady supply of food. This is always useful for, for income later, um, but I think we need the food primarily at this point. Okay, good. We got some wood coming in. Um, there, there is a little bit of coal supply here, so we can um, we can support ourselves off of that instead of the wood. More eggs up here. That's a thing. Okay, we'll let you finish those few trees there, and then we we'll probably come and clear this one too. Uh, you're done or ready? So let's go here and put a lizard in there. And our first orders: have a farm in ten wheat. Get a couple of humans. Or have a stonecutter camp and two bricks. Let's do this one. It's an easy one. We'll get that really, really quickly here. Uh, herbalist camp we didn't take. 
20 mush soup. Get a bunch of people. Let's go with this one. Uh, for later. And we'll do the tablet equals... Uh... Hmm. No, let's do this. We can do that sooner. Uh, let's also put down a crude workstation. Move down here. Let's break into this one as well. And we're once again avoiding... No, we're not. We're not avoiding glades. We can open glades whenever we want. Another lizard in here. And we'll put a human in here to get us started on... We didn't get the workshop, did we? No, we did not. No, we did not. Alright, well, let's do... Uh, let's do some of these. Uh, this is going to be a little bit rough. We're going to get some of it from the trees, but it's going to be rough. We can make those couple of bricks sooner rather than later, hopefully. Maybe I can put two humans in here to get those going. I shall wait on that. And that last human that's left can build me a nice road down here. Fortunately, we don't need to focus on housing. We need to focus on services. And clothing would be nice, but it's at least the drizzle effect, so it's not going to be a problem. Good. Uh, fertile soil. Good, good, good. And some mushrooms. Which means we could really, really use the uh, herbalist. Take out some of these trees right here so we can clear the whole farm. I think we'll just zigzag this way. Come on, beavers. Finish clearing out your camp. I'm gonna move this actually over there. Two that are here, but well, actually they won't finish. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Okay. Why are you not making bricks yet? Should have. Oh, you, you have made them. Let's uh, force delivery so that I can turn this in. Not yet, actually, so it doesn't really matter. I want to wait till I get to at least one impatience point before I turn that in so that I don't waste the uh, impatience. Reduction. But we'll turn it in. Um, actually, maybe I should wait till after the storm. Because we're already in hostility one. Uh, oh, wow. Woodcutters count as a lot of hostility points in this level. Wow. Yeah, I know. We'll wait, though. Uh, where does this uh, farm go? can go right where the f camp is, or it could go back there. Put over here where this camp is. So I'm going to move these guys over a little. And we'll get this building. Building. There we go. Now the risk is going to be, where do I want to start Danger Glades? Um, which one do I want to start with? Probably this one. Okay, good. You took care of that tree. And we're going to put the human in here. I think I'll take one of them out of this. Put one in here. And then once... Actually, I'll let them both build the, the fields. And then uh, we'll put them both in here to finish up. Or to, to start plowing. I do want to put down this kiln at some point. Probably sooner rather than later. Go there with that. Alright, and humans can go in here now. Just start plowing. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't let them finish that road. Lizard resolve is low. Fuel is getting low. That's why I want the kiln. Because we'll be able to turn 10 wood into 5 coal. And I don't know the fuel values of each, but I'm assuming that's efficient. And we should probably put the bricks in here too. Instead of here. Just because it's a little bit more efficient. We'll still leave it at... Actually, we'll leave it at 20. And if we get... No, we should actually do that too. Um... Let's actually get the jerky started too. Mm. Get them back out of red. Even if it's affecting the humans, I'd rather bring the humans down into yellow and have both of them into yellow than have the lizards in red. Okay, I can probably cancel this about now safely. And then, of course, we want to take. Or turn this in. Pick some new orders. Uh, probably not going to do the 50 mush soup one. Let's do this one. We'll take 10 packs of provisions. And... I think we'll do this one. To get the boost to wood cutting. And some hammers and some coats. Uh, cornerstone. More charges, that might not be a bad idea. 20 charges, two villagers die. Nah, not really. And definitely not the more death, because um, we're going to have enough of that as it is, I think. Uh, one of each? Yeah, one of each. And let's see what we have here. Uh, the herbalist camp would get us those mushrooms, but we also could use... The supplier to get a better fabric recipe. Man, that's tough. Man, is that tough. Need some place to make mush soup, too. Uh, let's take the supplier. I might regret it eventually, but we'll take it anyway. And place that. And let's see about coming through here. Um, let's do it this way, maybe? Oh, these do have still a little bit more clay back there. Okay. These eggs are going to end soon. Let's get you started here. Oh boy, we need more, more lizards for that, but I guess we could put somebody else in here. Turn the fabric off here. And uh, turn these two off. Set this one at 30. Um, oh boy. Lack of people is, uh, it's gonna be fun. I think I will, um, move this human over here and leave, leave one person available for work. Can we tell... I don't think this tells us any of that. Can we tell here? No. Just says efficient fuel. Hmm. Hopefully it truly is t at least twice as efficient as logs, as wood, which I can't believe it's not. Hopefully it is. Um, because having that as fuel would be nice. <clears throat> and then we do have the additional eggs up here that we can, we can start collecting once they're done with these. Well, let's see. 
building materials and provisions. Well, building materials are going to be a little bit expensive to make right now. Uh, we could do crops easily enough because we have our steady supply of roots. Um, I don't know that I want to spend food right now on this. And building materials are going to be really expensive. Because we don't have a decent supply of stuff or fabric. Actually, I think I should bring this road this way and down and across. Probably. Stonecutter needs something to do, which there is nothing to do. So why don't you come in here and help with the uh, making of the jerky and or the coal. Um, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll give you another job later on. Okay. Uh, large destroyed caravan. We need to pull somebody off of some job. I think we can probably pull one of these humans and let the other one finish that. And we'll take the two of you. Um, are these goods going to really give me any... Well, good. Uh, the parts would. We have nine, so I'm not that worried about it. Let's take this instead. So for the next three minutes, we have minus 10 to Global Resolve, which is going to be painful if we don't get them done before the storm. Trading is blocked. We don't have trading yet. And one impatience point if we don't finish this in 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, this is going to be painful. This is going to be very painful. Work, work. I think I'll pull all my woodcutters out. Just to drop the, the level here. Yeah. Or I actually only need to pull one out because of how many points they're worth. Oh boy. Uh, scavenger. I can build a scavenger. Uh huh. We don't have one yet. Right, we don't have one yet. Let's build one of those over here and build that. Take these trees out that are in the middle of the place here. Flip this around and take this in like I was planning on it. And then down that way. We're going to get a lot of flax. That's good for cloth making. Lizard trapper left. Dang it. Um, going to wait for that. And we'll put you in here. Um, can I do something? It's dangerous. Really, really, really dangerous. And then the other trapper left. Crap. Need some lizards. Alright, there went the fuel. Um, I finished this though. So, it's safe. Their happiness is coming back up. Let's take a look at our orders. Um, let's go with this one. I'm sure we'll get some tablets. Are we going to get any copper? Let's do the leisure one. I don't know that we're going to see any copper. Unless we get that pick the copper from the trees cornerstone. Which actually, let's see if we get it this time first. Uh, let's do this one. Get those packs of crops for free. We can at least sell them for something. We didn't get it. Let's, uh, can we get... No, of course we can't get more than one lizard. Why would we be able to get more than one lizard? That's crazy talk. Uh, so let's, um... Let's just take this one. This is going to get really painful. Um, we'll see how it goes in the future. Uh, let's put a beaver in there. Put the other beaver back in here. Uh, I think... Right now, I'm going to let them just chop some trees. Maybe we'll come up closer to home to do the tree chopping, though. Uh, move you down here. Uh, yeah. I have to put the human in here, which we don't really have. Come up here. I guess I'm going to have to pull this one back out. 
So we have a worker. Or maybe we don't need a worker yet. Let's go ahead and let the human pill the flax. Uh, the trapper's camp needs to be moved. And uh, we're going to wrap this episode up here. So we'll see how this goes. This could be very, very fun. That could be a at least one set of quotes, if not more. But at least it would be a learning experience, if nothing else. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.